Hey everyone, this is Swang of Black Box Stocks and uh, thank you for joining us so much. We greatly appreciate you taking the time to do this. This video is going to help you understand what net options delta is. And we have a very special guest with us today. That's Theta Warrior. Thank you so much, Theta, for joining us. Swan, thanks a lot for having me on here. I've, I've been excited to uh, to make this video and, and discuss this with you. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And, and I'm happy to also bring along my friend and mentor, Jimmy, who is a former market maker as well, who's going to help shed some light on this for us. Thanks for being here, Hey, Jimmy. guys. Glad to be a part of this. I think this is yes, a Yes, Jimmy, great, thank great you tool. so much. That's awesome. Thank you, Theta, too. We're gonna. This is gonna be really good for everybody. So first off, Theta, I want to thank you by, on behalf of Black Box too, because I don't, this study would not have existed in our system if it wasn't for you and your mentor there. So we thank you very much for both of the time, all the time that you both have put into this. So thank you so much. Pleasure. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is gonna look at what the net options delta study is, and we put together a little presentation about it. But sometimes it's a little bit easier to see in real time but this is kind of the overall if i understand correctly theta uh, we've got three different lines showing up on this study we have a blue line an orange line and a white line do you want to talk for a moment to just kind of explain what those lines are and the and what is involved with the directions of those lines sure of course so first off we have our blue line which is going to represent the call delta our orange line is going to represent the put delta and then the white line is going to represent the total net options delta so calls have a inherently positive delta so as more positive delta is introduced into the market that blue line will rise and conversely as calls are being sold that will take away positive delta from the market so that blue line will fall and puts are going to work the exact opposite. Puts have inherently negative delta. So as puts are being bought, that orange line will fall. And as puts are being sold, that orange line will rise. And then the white line is simply just a addition of the both. So as you have here, you know, your call delta is a positive 830,000. Your put delta is a positive 376,000. So that gives you a total nod of just over 1.2 million. So basically what's happening in this snapshot is they're buying calls that's why your call delta blue line is rising and they're also net sellers of puts that's why you have a positive put delta 376 so that is that's why those numbers would be added and you get that total of 1.2 million okay very good very easy explanation so what is the time frame of the of the, this is just happening today Yes, so this will only calculate the delta change based off of the open, and it's going to include all strikes, all expirations, all dollar amounts. See, the beauty of the way NOD works is it calculates the delta. It's not just a dollar flow, right? Like someone can buy, you know, a million dollars of Tesla calls, but if they're only a 10 delta, that's going to have a, a lesser effect than if someone buys, you know, $500,000 of Tesla calls with you know a 50 delta or a 60 delta that's going to obviously have a much bigger effect so this gives you a direct representation of you know what is potentially pushing price based on what you know the market maker on the other end is doing when these calls are being bought or sold and and I'll let Jimmy speak to that more uh, he's the expert in, in terms of that yeah I mean the options obviously you know the market maker has to hedge whatever's coming in so uh, the more calls you're having to sell as a market maker, the more of the underlying you're having to buy to cover it to, to remain delta neutral. So this is a great tool to tell you basically exactly what the market maker is having to do to hedge. Okay. Right. So, so I, 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 I appreciate the, the explanation of the difference between uh, option dollar flow and net options delta, because I think a lot of people think they're the same, but they're not. Correct. Yeah. Okay, very, very good. Thank you. Um, anything else on this data before we move to some real life examples that have come in today as we look at some charts? No, I think let's, let's jump to the real world stuff. All right, let's do it. Um, let's go over to black box stocks. And this is live information coming in. Right now we have the SPY chart pulled up. So why don't you explain this, what we're seeing here? Okay, so basically today you have price uh, making a low, right? Price is moving lower right out of the open. And mm -hmm. since about 9.45, and, and you see in the beginning as well, orange line moving down, blue line moving down, 
white line as well. So that shows you that they were, you know, buying puts and selling calls at the open. And then basically at about 945, those lines started to reverse. You can see the orange line got a sharp move higher, which shows put selling. Right. So we can assume that that some of that mostly is, is going to be profit taking. Right. Because the market opened lower. You know, we had a big red day yesterday. So some of those puts are being locked in. And then you also see throughout the day we have slight call buying, which, you know, could be, you know, players positioning for a, a bounce potentially. Right. From an oversold condition. So whether they're going to be right or not is yet to be foreseen. But we do know that by looking at this. When they're selling puts and they're buying calls, obviously that's going to take off some of the downside pressure on the stock because the market makers say, you know, when these call when these puts were initially opened, the way they're going to short the, the way they're going to hedge themselves is by shorting that stock. So as those puts are sold and they're buying them back, they then don't need to short the stock uh, and they end up buying it back. So so both of those two things are, are going to cause um, some of the downside pressure to be taken off and increase your chances for a bounce and also decrease your chances for continuation lower. So right now we're we're seeing somewhat of a divergence in Nod, right? I mean, price is mm -hmm. holding somewhat flat for the time being, but overall today you have a, a put delta 1.1 million, call delta 1.4 million, and then a total Nod of 2.5. So that shows you a lot of positive net options delta that are being created today. So could we say that in this chart, and correct me if I'm wrong, if, could we say in this chart that we, this could just be some short covering up here and now we're just kind of going sideways with this right through here? It, it, it is from put selling, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, and then we've got a little bit of call buying, that's why we've got this up on the 1.4 million on the positive side. Correct. Okay, beautiful, very nice. Well, uh, let's move to the next one. I think the next one was uh, Tesla. Yes. So okay. tes Tesla is a great example of a bearish oh. correlation. You can see right out of the gate, price is making lows. Yep. Yeah, perfect. And you can see orange line down, so they're buying puts, blue line down, so they're selling calls. So that means that both call traders and put traders are in agreement with what price is doing. So that's a great example of a bearish correlation. So that's what you would want to look for you know, before getting into a Tesla short, you know, we, we wouldn't want to see them taking profits on those puts and buying calls, you know, like we're seeing in the SPY and, and you know, we get on the put side ourselves. You know, we, we the reason we watch flow is because, you know, we, we believe that they know something we don't or, you know, maybe they're, you know, ahead of the move that's about to come. So that gives us an edge. So being able to see, you know, the, the total representation of what the nod is telling us you know, can be hugely beneficial. So this is a great example of, of correlation. That's exactly what you want to look for. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's a beautiful example today for that. And you can see yeah. right as price is bouncing, well, it makes sense, right? Some of those call buyers are coming back in, blue line goes up. Some of those put buyers that bought earlier are now taking profits, or maybe they're getting stopped out, they're getting trailed out. So that that shows you that like i said you you have a really nice correlation with price there sometimes you'll get a bounce and they they will just buy puts heavy 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 so that means they're just shorting the rip so that would show you that potentially there might be a reversal coming in uh in this okay. case it looks like the deltas have kind of flattened out so options market at this time doesn't seem to be you know, super convinced that we may push lower or higher there looks to me it looks like they're more waiting to see you know what price is going to do here at this 290 level mm -hmm. right so how would you may ask you this and either you or uh your mentor there jimmy can answer um how can nod help individuals maybe stay in trades longer can do you find it can do that sure so i'll i'll give my thoughts first um i think that you know in this example would be let's say you know you're in the Tesla short trade on the short side, it's kind of consolidating at 295 there around 10 a.m. And you see that put buyers are still coming in and they're still selling calls. That shows you that the that the momentum is moving in your direction in, in the right way. Even though price has not confirmed yet, you see that there are more uh, negative deltas being introduced into the marketplace, which is going to add to that downside pressure. So that should hopefully try and keep you in the trade longer. Um, and obviously they were right. I mean, you can see it made a new low. It dropped another, 
you know, seven, eight dollars from that spot, basically. Um, mm -hmm. So they ended up being right. Well, yeah, yeah. As, long as, as soon as you start seeing that that net delta being flatlined like you do there at about 11.15 in the Tesla, that's pretty much telling you right there. Plus, you've obviously had huge momentum flow and you had the spy taking everything down. And then this thing sort of flatlined here on the net option delta, and that's basically where it turned around. So you got a lot of profit taking and, and bottom buyers at that point. So that actually was a really good uh, indicator on this example. Very nice. Yeah, as long as the as long as the uh, nod lines are going your direction, stay in it. And if it starts to flatten out, you should definitely be uh, thinking of you know watching a little more closely then. Yeah, flatten out or reverse on you. That would be an indication to maybe you know yeah. lock in some profits. <laughs> yeah, and because I have noticed with nod, we can get those big spikes once in a while, depending on the ticker. But you know, if some big flow comes in, it does can get a can get a spike on that reversal line pretty quick sometimes. So oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And then the last one I think we we're gonna look at uh, was Netflix. So Netflix is a great example of a bullish correlation. So you can see price opened higher and they sold it off immediately. Um, at that time, Nod was somewhat flat, but you can see right as price was bottoming, um, looks like about 232.50 and change or so, um, you can see that aggressively call buyers stepped in and put buyers said, okay, I had enough, I'm going to sell. Blue line goes up, orange line goes up, that's a correlation, bullish correlation, and sure enough, price rockets higher. And you can see, you know, we continued up, we consolidated around that 236 range for an hour or so and call buyers and you know kind of steadied off there but the put selling continued okay it's throughout that consolidation and then when price broke higher above that 237 range call buyers then stepped in again so that's the momentum crowd you know saying okay i think this thing is going to continue higher and they're buying calls as price is making a new high of day so that's a great example of a, a bullish correlation both all three lines are moving higher with price. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. And I, and it's, I noticed on this one specifically how the the call side matches the total. Almost, you, they're almost, you can almost overlay them. Um, yes, yes. Which is kind so of some, interesting on this chart. Sometimes um, you can, you, what's happening right there is you can see the call delta is, is mostly what's driving the total nod. Right. So the, the call delta currently is, you know, eight, only 83 and a half. But it looked like at that time it was much higher uh, and, and extended further than the put delta. So that's that's a really good point you pointed out, because as you know, if if we're considering a long position, obviously it's much more bullish if calls are being bought than if puts are being sold. They both right. have bullish implications, but we want to see fresh call buying. Right. So that's exactly what you have there. You can see that because those lines are so similar that the call delta is what was driving price at that time, which which is exactly what you want to see. Right, yeah, because we get that question a lot of times, is is put selling uh, bullish? It's like, it can be, but it's really mm -hmm. neutral to bullish, right? So, mm -hmm. um, but when we have call buying with it, that, that solidifies the, the bullish sentiment, so. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very nice, very nice. So um, those are the three examples we wanted to go over. Again, I really appreciate you both taking the time. Any closing comments on on how maybe how someone can use Nod then in their daily trading to maybe make better decisions? Well, sure. I'll, I'll give you my thoughts. Um, basically, I, I look for correlation, and when I see divergence, I tend to just sit and wait. Um, there's really no point in me, you know, getting into a short position. Even if price is moving lower, if I see the options market is taking profits on their puts, right? I want to see them buying puts if I'm considering buying puts as well. So I look for correlation everywhere I go, and I want to make sure that the right delta is what's driving price. I want to see if price is moving higher, that call delta is moving higher, and not just put delta, um, you know, increasing. So that is what's going to be the difference between, you know, more bullish to less bullish, et cetera, et cetera. And um, if they're, like I said, if there's a divergence, if they're not lining up, that's a, a you know, good time for me to just kind of sit and wait. Do you, do you have some some thoughts, yeah, Jimmy, as, as the I, former market maker? I would just add that 
you know, put selling while bullish is sort of a short term phenomenon. Uh, what it will do to the underlying, obviously, it's a it's a positive delta that has to be covered, but it doesn't continue going as the stock goes higher. Like if like if you're selling calls to somebody and you hedge it and it continues higher, you're going to have to continue hedging as the delta increases as the underlying goes higher. Same thing on the downside if you're selling puts. So it, it's a much more it creates more potential volatility if you've got option buyers versus option sellers. Exactly. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a very good point. So that's the, the old theory behind the dead cat bounce. <laughs> uh, when they, they start covering some of those puts, it, it takes the underlying back up for a little bit, but it's not sustainable. Yeah. Exactly. Don't call yeah. Okay. Well, very good. Again, thank you so much, both of you. Really appreciate it. Hope to have you guys on again if we're in, in the future. And um, we will, I know the uh, members of Black Box will absolutely love watching this video because like I said, we've we've had a lot of questions on it and uh, Theta and I have been trying to get our schedules together to do this. So I appreciate you guys taking the time, especially during the market hours. And I know that's obviously precious time. So we'll let everybody get back to trading. And we, again, thank you so much. And we'll hope to have you back on soon. Yeah, thank you. You guys did an excellent job putting this to work. I know there's a ton of math behind it, and uh, you, you guys killed it. And I love using it. I use it on the daily, religiously, and, and thank you guys for putting it together. It's a great tool, guys. Congratulations. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Seda. And we will uh, conclude here. And we'll, again, thank everybody for watching. And uh, again, this is Swan with Black Box Stocks. Everybody have a great day. See you later, guys.